You've all finally made it. Good news, everyone. I just received word that your light novel is flying off the shelves. Multiple sales locations are asking when we'll be printing more copies. Woohoo! That's great! This level of success is an amazing accomplishment for a new work. Most new books don't sell 30% of what you've sold. <laughs> I have free copies for each of you here. Please take them. The payment will follow shortly, and I'll notify you to come and collect it when the time comes. Oh, yeah! The whole reason why we made this light novel was to combat the influence of a first-hand guide to summoning spirits. Hmm. We sold a lot of copies, but it doesn't feel like we accomplished our goal. How do we know whether it worked? <laughs> oh, don't worry. The change is already underway. Shh. Listen to what the people around us are talking about. The conversation has already moved on, hasn't it? Hey, guys. Have you heard about this latest Kaidan thing doing the rounds? You just need to recite the incantation from a first-hand guide to summoning spirits at midnight, and your wish will come true! Oh, that? <laughs> That's a throwback. That's old news, man. No one's talking about that anymore. The secret spells of Lady Kitsune is the new hit thing. I've already memorized all the incantations. The secret spells of Lady Kitsune? What's that? You haven't read it yet? Okay, so supposedly, if you recite the spell in there on a moonless night, You'll receive protection of the Kitsune and all the other powerful yokai. They can make any of your wishes come true. I heard that the incantations in a first-hand guide to summoning spirits have weird side effects. This one guy wished for a load of mora and got it, but then one night it all turned to leaves and he developed a high fever. They actually had to use one of the secret spells of Lady Kitsune to get rid of the discomfort. That proves that the incantations in this book are more potent than the ones everyone was trying before. Pretty much everyone I know is desperate to try it out. Just waiting for a moonless night. Really? Well, I better go and prepare too. Well, feeling less worried now? Wow, you're right! Everyone's shifting focus! But what's this moonless night that they're talking about? Hyman doesn't remember that detail from the brainstorming session. <laughs> This is something that will become very important to us further down the line. All right, it's time to move on to the next phase of the plan. Eh? There's a phase two? Of course. Behind every book that hits the market lies an author, right? Oh, yeah. If we leave him to his own devices, he might just write another guide to summoning spirits. Also, we still need to figure out what his motive for writing it was. Exactly. That's what we need to take care of next. Fortunately, I've already managed to identify the author. He's a failed light novelist named Tomoyuki. But when we went to ask him about it, he had no recollection whatsoever of having written the book. Yes, this is another case of possession. Only this time, whoever possessed him actively sought him out. After his novel submission failed, he was walking aimlessly in Araumi. In frustration, he shouted out, Please, someone, anyone, help me write a truly amazing novel. After that, he lost consciousness. But the spirit that wrote the book has already left him now, right? So what are we supposed to do? Simple. It wrote a summoning incantation in the book, didn't it? So we can just use its own method to make it manifest itself. And you, my little friend, are the perfect candidate for this role. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what are you talking about? The fun's just about to begin. The ideal spot for a little meet-and-greet with a certain elusive author. This is the place where we are most likely to succeed in summoning the spirit. Really? But it feels so... eerie here. <laughs> that seems rather fitting, considering that we are dealing with the spirits of the deceased here. What are you so afraid of, honestly? We're finally about to meet the true author of a first-hand guide to summoning spirits. Aren't you excited? Paimon's heart is pounding, but Paimon's pretty sure it's not because of excitement. 
<laughs> Come on, in we go. Hey, wait up! Ooh, Paimon's scared. Stay close by, okay? Don't leave Paimon all alone. What a weird painting. Miko, do you know what it's supposed to show? Hmm. Probably a scene from ancient Inazuma. It's a good piece of artwork and all, but it's also kind of eerie. So it's a bit scary. Hmm. Looks like the artist signed their name. Um, Rakusai? Hmm. It's not very clear. Let's go inside and take a look. Okay, next I will show you a secret Kitsune spell. This painting is a swift summoning medium, which means I'll be able to skip many of the more tedious steps. The murky mirror reflects the view of Inazuma in a bygone age. Spirits stirred by the sight of the past will be easily drawn to it. You're up next, little one. Come on, sit yourself down here. Yes. The whole point of a summoning ritual is for a dead person's spirit to possess a living person's body. You saw what happened to that Oni Samurai spirit. After leaving the host's body, he was only able to maintain his form for a very short time before disappearing. Are we positive that summoning a spirit to possess the Traveler isn't gonna have any lasting negative consequences? Oh, you really care about the little one quite a lot, don't you? Hmm. I'm a little jealous. I wish my friends were caring like that. <laughs> anyway, are you scared, little friend? Don't you worry now. It'll be over soon. Just think of it like having a dream. Sit on the chair, stare at the painting, and relax your body and mind. Uh, try and be natural. There's really no need to be nervous. It's like she's sitting inside the painting. Huh? Is Paimon seeing things? Did the painting just move? Recite the incantation in your heart, little one. Also, you'll need to have some intense thoughts going through your head. A wish, for example. Now, what kind of wish do we think it would take to summon forth the author of A First-Hand Guide to Summoning Spirits? Anyone? Um, probably something to do with writing? Very good. The wish needs to be heartfelt, though, so let me help add a little realism to the equation. The book is selling exceptionally well, Traveler, but we're going to need an outline for Chapter 4 as soon as humanly possible. When is the earliest that you can turn it in by? The painting is moving again! What? <laughs> I never thought the day would come when I'd be summoned using my own ritual. <sighs> Getting a taste of my own medicine. What have we here? Another budding writer? What's come over you all? Why is everyone wishing for help with their writing? Are novels so popular in this day and age? We got you! So you were the one who wrote a first-hand guide to summoning spirits! What are you trying to do, hmm? Why'd you put that summoning incantation in the book, huh? What's your game here? Huh? What's this? Oh, <laughs> I see. No wonder this felt so familiar. I've walked right into your trap, haven't I? You ask me what my game is here? Well, of course. It was to use this incantation as a means for all the souls of the departed yokai 
to make their glorious return to the world and plunge all of Inazuma into a brutal, bloody war. What? Paimon knew it! You had an evil plan all along! Oh, did you now? Then how naive of you to let me possess this body so easily. I sense, yes, great power within her. Good. Good! With this power, no one shall be able to stand in my way! <laughs> wake up! Quick! Wake up! We gotta stop him! <laughs> it is futile. You shall never wake her again. This body now belongs to me! Hey! Come on, wake up! Don't let him take your mind! Miko, think of something! Miko! Miko! You haven't changed a bit. You caught on so quickly. Too perfect. <laughs> well, you made the face enough times that I couldn't exactly miss the hint. This is what you were going for, yes? Never one to stand on the sidelines of a good spectacle, are you? Always got to dive in and fan the flames, ah, huh? you mischievous little kitsune, you? Look what you've done to this little flying one here. Aw, oh, poor thing scared witless. You were having plenty of fun playing the bad guy a moment ago. Now you're trying to blame it all on me? Urakusai? Miko, you guys know each other? Yes, we do. Of course we do. <laughs> Allow me to formally introduce the author of A First-Hand Guide to Summoning Spirits, Urakusai. Uh, no, wait. To be more accurate, it's Urakusai's memory. Memory? Ah, spirits, memories, they're just different words to describe the same thing. Something that comes from the ley lines. Do you remember that recent incident when the Rift Hounds were gnawing at the sacred Sakura's roots? You witnessed human memories leaking from the ley lines, didn't you? Well, since there are human memories, of course there are going to be yokai memories too. In life, yokai possess supernatural powers. And even when they are a shadow of their former selves from a bygone era, they still have the ability to control whether they are visible or not. Typically, yokai memories survive longer in the world than those of humans. <laughs> indeed, indeed. I was wandering around the sacred Sakura's roots when I suddenly heard someone yelling, Please, someone, anyone, help me write a truly amazing novel. It piqued my curiosity. So I popped inside his body and wrote a novel for him. So that's how it happened. But why did you include a summoning incantation in the novel? Oh, little one. Not to toot my own horn here, but when I was alive, I wasn't just another Kitsune, no. I was a mighty and powerful Daioko. The memories of other yokai can't possess human bodies at will like I can. But with this incantation, they can go one last little joyride in the world for a couple of days. Anything they're still itching to do, they can go and get it done. Uh, but... but... She's trying to say that all the commotion this causes is likely to be a great disturbance to the humans. Disturbance? <laughs> I guess you mean that we might leave them with some broken dreams after we leave, hmm? Oh, yes. And they might have a fever or whatever. But you know, I actually think that the most admirable thing about human beings is the way that they go out and shape their fate with their own two hands, given that they're not born blessed with the same powers that we enjoy. As for those who would rather draw on external power than seek to improve themselves, it's quite right that they learn their lesson eventually. So when you think about it, we're actually doing the humans a big favor. Miko, you agree, don't you? <laughs> yes, that's what I thought, too. All right, then. You finally convinced Paimon you guys were right. What are you scared of, little one? Don't be deceived by her day-to-day -day antics. 
Miko is actually one of the most powerful yokai out there. Hmm. Not only that, Irakusai, but my latest work has beaten that book you wrote, A First-Hand Guide to Summoning Spirits, to become the most popular in Inazuma. Hmm. Of course. You are never one to make extra work for yourself where you can help it. And yet you went to all these lengths to find my painting room, and even took the trouble to summon me. I knew you must have some ulterior motive. You were always the one to pick a quarrel with me when we all used to gather around and share stories. All right, all right. You win, I lose. Happy now? Ha! <laughs> I finally get to hear you say it centuries later. Ooh, I must say it feels good. Hmm. <laughs> I remember when you were just a little girl, always hanging off my shoulders. A few hundred years later, and you're all grown up. Oh, Urakusai, how much time do you have left? Hmm. Not much. That goes for all of us, actually. We've all got to go back where we came from in the end. Everyone's quite content in many ways, but they still can't help but ask, are we ever going to have another Hyakyako? <laughs> Don't you worry about that, Urakusai. Arrangements are being made. When my bell rings, it means the moonless night is upon us. <laughs> Great. Wonderful! Fantastic! Miko, it's been nice catching up, but I'd better conserve my energy if I want to stick it out until then. So, I'll be on my way now. All right. Goodbye then, Urakusai. Oh, one last thing, Miko. I just want to know, have you been well all these years? I've been great, of course. Every day is a happy one. Especially these days. Not only do I have my light novels, but I've also met these two delightfully nosy outlanders. And even A is finally starting to come to her senses. Quite a miracle, given how pig-headed she can be. Oh, well, great. That's fantastic. Urakusai, you'd be right at home in this era. A great storyteller and artist like yourself would be the Yai Publishing House's ace in the hole. And I would personally be hounding you over your next installment. <laughs> He... disappeared! Are you awake? How are you feeling? Are you all there? Here, like last time, repeat after me. Oh, you beat me to it. Looks like your brain is intact. So, your first possession, hmm? What was it like? <laughs> Good. Saves me from having to explain everything again. Hearing Rakusai admit defeat has put me in the most wonderful mood. In return, it's only fair that we make sure to deliver on what they're all hoping for. Yes, though they only represent a tiny proportion of the memories in the ley lines, it will still be quite a sight to behold when the time comes. Since you've come this far, why don't you do one last thing for me, hmm? I'll need your help with the ritual. You cannot be serious, Miko! After all that, you still have more errands for us? Huh! You guys teamed up to scare Paimon just now! If you think Paimon's gonna do anything you ask for, think again! Aw, oh, come on. I'm really only asking you to finish what you started. Besides, your paychecks are still in my hands. <laughs> Paimon's paycheck? Oh, well, there's no way out now! We're in too deep! Well, hello there, my little helpers. So nice of you to join me. You're right on time, too. Huh. As if we had a choice. We just want our paychecks. So, Nico, what exactly do we have to do to make this Hiyakiyako happen? Also, to be clear, we actually have no idea what it even means. It might sound ominous, but to put it simply, the Hyakiyako is just a gathering of the yokai. Back in the day at yokai gatherings, once everyone had had plenty to drink, one by one they'd start soaring into the sky with their yokai powers. There were so many of them that their silhouettes would block out the moon. But now, the yokai memories that leak from the ley lines are weak. They are no longer able to fly. 
So I will be performing a convocation ritual for them, gathering all the wandering memories together in one place. When the time comes, they will gather in the sky above the Grand Narukami Shrine. Once their energy is spent, they will be satisfied and return to where they belong. All the preparations for the ritual have actually been made well in advance. Remember the incantation and the mention of Moonless Night that I added to our novel? Oh, yeah! Something about reciting the secret spells of Lady Kitsune on a moonless night. That's the one. Actually, it's not a wish-granting incantation at all. It's a spell to help calm the leyline memories. When that time comes, let's all pitch in and help send them on their way. I will start the ritual preparations shortly, and at that time, I need you to do two things. First, tell the Shrine Maidens to leave the mountain. During the Hyakyako, a whole swarm of yokai memories will be hanging around in the air above the Grand Narukami Shrine. Having the Shrine Maidens leave avoids the bothersome issue of someone potentially getting possessed. After that, I will commence the ritual, and the memories will begin to congregate. This will take some time. I need you at the foot of Mount Yogo during this part to keep an eye on nearby monster activity. The memories are normally dispersed and don't pose a threat, but when their energy is concentrated, it is likely to disturb the monsters. They may see this as an opportunity to try and make it up the mountain. I need you to fend them off so that that doesn't happen. All right, got it. Then what? Hmm. Well, if at that point you felt like coming to the shrine and getting a close-up view of the yokai, I wouldn't say no. Okay, let's get going! Descend the mountain? Are those Lady Kuchi's orders? Yep, Miko said the ritual she's gonna perform soon might pose a physical danger to you all. I see. I'll evacuate everyone right away. W what about you? Taking care of a couple other things for her. And once we're done with that, we're gonna come back and do the ritual together. It seems like Lady Guji places great trust in you. Lady Guji's never allowed anyone else to be in her presence when she's conducted rituals like this in the past. Thank you for helping with the ritual, and good luck. Don't worry, we're much stronger than we look. <laughs> 